anywhere. Anyway, so this time we have actually got enough fuel to get there, but I'm going to show you how to scoop now. So with our fuel scoop. So here we go then. We launch. This, um. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it using up all the fuel for the first jump? See how it's all gone blue? Oh, hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, too late. I'll just take off first. I got something to check. Sorry, I made a mistake. Landing lock disengaged. You may leave when ready. So, let's get out of the station. There's nothing in front of me, so I can boost now. Once I've taken up the landing gear. So, I'm just going to um, open up the galaxy map. I forgot to show you something. Right. This is all part of fuel scooping. If I open up this one here, and you'll see all the different star types here the top ones top seven i think it is are scoopable ones so right down to m so l isn't so all this was one two three four five six seven yeah the top seven so switch off all these then the bottom one says apply filter to root now what that means is that when you make your root let's just switch it off again do it again just to make sure yeah the, it'll only stop, it's a K star, if you see it there. That one there is a K star as well. So it'll only stop at scoopable star. Well, it'll only jump, you know, take you on the route to that one. So it navigates the route through all those. So um, we're ready to uh, engage our frame shift drive. Oh, we're mess locked, so we've got to jump a little bit. So just steering away from the station a bit. So, with four pips for the engines. You see that capacitor will fill up a bit quicker now. Still not fantastically quick compared with other ships. But right, we're clear of mass lock, so I can engage my frame shift drive. You have to be careful not to fly back to the station and get into mass lock again when it's behind the station. So, just keep boosting as frequently as you can. So the ship's much, much better now, you know, it's starting to become like a little fighter. Right, so here we come, ready to scoop. So I've got zero throttle when I arrive. Just open the throttle, the yellow line appears, and all you do is um, put your dot outside the yellow line and fly around to the jump point like you had before. So there it is, and all the time there you're scooping. There you go, we're full up now. So you run a bit hotter now, because of scooping. As soon as that's gone away, the fuel scoop, you can jump. Don't jump when you've got the fuel scoop, okay, because um, you'll overheat. So it's as easy as that. And if the um, station isn't behind, if the, the next jump point sorry, isn't behind the star, you still want to just fly around it a bit to scoop and then get on your way. It's as quick as that. And if you've got too small a fuel, fuel scoop, it takes a long time. There's something else you've got to do, but I won't bother with that just for now. I, did, I have made a video about how to fuel scoop. It explains everything. See, like, that's that one there, there it is, GD319. So what I'm going to do, just to fill up again, just keep keep close to the yellow line for a bit. Okay, I'm full now, so now I can pocket, pocket it. Now, when you come to GD319, wait for the scoop to go, and then get your frame shift drive going. Keep your full throttle, otherwise it won't jump. Whoops. When you get, now you want zero, once you've jumped, the moment it engages the jump, go to zero throttle because it's one of these funny star things here and these ones they suck you in and if, if you don't know how to get out it's tricky I just don't think it's a neutron star it's so there you are, like that so I'm zero throttle like so I can see it and you've got these two tails if you get into those tails all sorts of strange things happen. So make sure 
But even if you need to go in that direction, you go away from that star. There it is, white dot behind us. So, just going, that, that's it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to navigate to there. See, you'd, you'd never find it in a million years if you didn't know. What I'm hoping is that when I get to that station, it'll appear on the nav panel. Let's just have a look there now. Oh, there it is there already. Resource extraction site high. So we can target that now. We've got plenty of fuel, so we're okay. So I'm going to show you, just to show you the working of the kill warrant scanner. Yeah, you want to come in at um, right angles to the rings if you can. Yeah, don't try and fly through them because it just crashes. That's why I put the throttle in the blue zone early. So I'm just sort of looping around a little bit to come in at best right angles. There we go, that'll do. Maybe one million meters, that's it. So, here we are. Now we should see more ships this time. See, they're already, they're targetable. So he's a Viper and a, f and a Fed. He's a Asp, so he's either a Miner or a Pirate. And he's wanted. So, so when we get in range, what I, what I think it was a, I ended up with a C grade kill warrant scanner, didn't I? So that that starts at um, three kilometres. So I could boost over there. So he scans somebody and chickened out. So when I get to three, whoops, I haven't done my weight. So I'm going to put my weight on now. And look, already now you see on the left there, K warrant scan. It's scanning automatically. I haven't done anything. Right, complete. So what that means is if I kill him now, I'm going to get extra bounty. Now I'm just going to target the next ship. There it is, another Asp. He's too far away. So I can't show you on that one. Next one. He's the Fed. See the kill warrant scan is going off. And it's just scanning him. I didn't press any buttons. So there's a big anaconda there. That's probably a fed. Yeah. Oh, it's fighting over there. Right. Probably a bit smart idea to stay where we were. Now we can get to places much quicker. Be careful not to boost into the the rocks. So I've got to go through the gap there. See how more frequently I can boost now. So, what one's that? That's a viper. His name's Hate, so he's obviously a pirate. He's wanted. Boost again. So what's that shooting him? Don't know. Looks like it's a f another pirate. Find out in a minute. Got to be careful because the... Uh, yeah, there's more than one ship shooting this one there. So we can... Whoop. Yeah, I did get my gun. Yeah, when I did the ba the battery, it brought my weapons out. So. Boom. 90,000 for Viper, it's not bad. So, it wouldn't surprise me if that... Or was it a gunship? It is a gunship. So it could be a miner. Oh, he's wanted, yeah. And that's his fighter. So a Taipan, he's only a novice, so it should be easy to kill. But um, that's not for us. So it's fighting over here. So we can get around dead quick now. Yeah, I don't want to bother with that, that gunship because uh, he's sort of danger from the other one. So with four pips to the engines, I can just keep boosting. That's the policeman. So that's all we're going to get there. No. I told you, it's still going to be 0%. There we go. 
Now the other ones will be fighting that gunship. There was an anaconda just moving in on him. There you go, I told you. They do that. If we hadn't gone over the other side, then um, you'd stay over here and they wouldn't be fighting. So that's that gunship with his fighter. So we could have a go at the uh, the fighter. Who's that? No, it's an adder wanted. Oh, we can have him. So the, the kill warrant scan is going off, but in this time didn't have a chance to complete. So it's a python there. So he's a miner. So we've got these ones up here, that's where that gunship went. So there's a police anaconda, isn't it? Yeah. So we could just follow him and see what he does. Maybe you do don't shoot him. <laughs> so best not to have them targeted. Because if you accidentally or oh, there's fighting. If you accidentally pull that trigger. So that is the gunship now, so Anaconda's gonna come over here. So I'm going to have a go at the... Because it's only a novice. I wouldn't do this normally. But we've got a chance of taking that, giving that python an easier time. Because if we don't get it, it's going to be on our back. So four pips to weapons. Just there. Right, let's see if we can get him. Oh, he's chaffing. It's a nuisance. So I wouldn't really recommend doing this. He's chaffing again. So we've got no chance of getting him. He can chaff. And his shields are back each time. So all we're going to do is distract him while they're shooting the... So unless somebody else... Oh, we're going to get him. Somebody else is shooting him. Mind you, he might run out of chaff. So I'm just going to go back to the mother ship, see if I can land a shot. He's still going. He's only 30%. So I've lost my shields already. Where's he gone? There it is. So you can see the danger of a fighter. Gunship must have nearly gone. That's not him. There's people all round now. Oh, he's still at 32%. Just land a couple of shots because you've got to be within 20 seconds of the end. Once he's gone, of course, the fighter goes with him. My shields are just coming back, so I'm going to put four pips to them. He's gone. So it worked out well in the end. So what we got here now? That's the python. So who's that? Federal assault ship. So we can have him. So you can see the kill warrant scanner going off. So it just scanned itself automatically. So these ones don't shoot. It's only the fighters that shoot you. But because he's a novice, I thought it'd go a bit easier than that. But he was a chaffing one. And they're really, really tricky. So I had to do a few things that I wouldn't expect you to do just for survival.
So you can see all the all those ships are resolved on my radar because I've now got like decent um, sensors. So he's got a square top. What's he? That's a police. So there's a lot of uh, police around. So that's a federal assault ship. You can look at the panel and see who else there is. So there's a Viper as well. What's that? So he's wanted as well. So he started on that Python. That poor Python, he's going to get it all the time. And what you find now is that uh, it's much easier to keep pointing at that um, ship as well because you're, you're with the improved thrusters, the ship's just so much more manoeuvrable and agile. So, where is he gone? Freddy, was it? No, Brian Crane. Yeah, what would happen if we shot him now? He would immediately turn and shoot us. And then um, the moment he shoots us, all the feds will turn on him to defend you. But if you let them shoot first, which is obviously the safe option, you can shoot him as much as you like and he won't shoot you at all. Of course, he could crash into you. Sometimes he's just shooting. So we did, he did land some shots there. But it's just like shooting and blasting past. Just happened we got in the way. It wasn't that he's actually targeting us. So you have to be careful. See that anaconda sort of past. Oh, there he goes. Bang. So I haven't done anything to my kill warrant scanner yet, but it's got me already quite a lot of extra money. Federal dropship, he'll be a pirate. I'll just do a couple more and then uh, go back cash in. Here we go. So once they started shooting, you can join in. I also think you had to wait until they're right at the end about to die, but you don't, because they don't shoot you back. Just, just go nuts. Yeah. Help out. So the biggest danger is somebody crashing into you, not somebody shooting you. Check the panel now. Diamond back. Okay, well that, that's it. Then I've shown you how to um, how to travel. And how to improve your ship. Now you can see it's just so much easier now. You can get from one place to another. spin round quicker oh one, one other thing I forgot to mention is that when you once you've cashed in you become friendly 
with the local faction for killing all those bad guys. They, they think you did it all on your own for some reason or other. So they say they're going to be friendly towards you. And what that means is that when you come back to the resource extraction site, all the police will be green. The station will be green as well when you come out of it. And um, everybody else who's friendly will be green. But not the... Not the um, not the miners, they'll still be yellow. But uh, when, it, when the feds are all green, it's much easier to see who's who. You know, who you're supposed to be shooting and who's likely to be a pirate. So that makes life a lot easier. Someone's that other one. Can I go over there already? Another one is just gone. Let's be behind us. Yeah, there he is. Oh, it's that Viper. See, there's a lot of people scared of uh, combat because they think they can get blown up. But um, it's just knowledge. If you've, if you've got the knowledge, and obviously you can only get that through experience or from somebody helping you. Because now that you know what ships you can shoot and which one's not, you can see how safe it is. So, who's that then? That ladder. Yeah, you just got to be careful. If the feds aren't involved, like on that one, he was shooting a miner, and it was the miner shooting back at him. So that Python's a bad guy. What we're, we're after is the ones that the feds are on. That, I think that's Taipan from the gunship. That's, that's it, yeah, it's been hounded. That's the gunship. So it's the Python who's the bad guy. But no feds. Or is that a fed there? Yeah, it is a fed. So once the feds have started, you're clear to go. But this Python's got shield cell banks, so it's going to take a while. But they also seem to be shooting somebody else. Even though the Python's on his own. So he just done a heat sink. So what I sometimes do is if he goes down to one ring, I give it a good go. And that that gets rid of his shields and stops him from using another shield cell bank. So if you just time it right so you can give it a maximum shot in a short space of time. So he's gone. When they've got those shield cell banks, they can keep regenerating their shields each time it gets down to like one, one ring. And they take a long time to kill. He's a fed, so that's not the right bad guy. So is he, he's over the shooter. Oh, mess. There we go, wait, 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 that's it, we can have him. There he goes, the kill warrant scanner all by itself. Done. And thank you very much. We'd only got about 40,000 for that without the kill warrant scanner. 
So it's quite busy at the moment. Oh, is an anaconda just turned up? Possibly with a couple of vipers. Yeah, there he is. And see that square around him? That means he's just launching a fighter. Look, there it goes. So same thing as before. So worse than that, when he's wing two of two, it's not, the fighter isn't the two of two. The fighter counts as the ship. So he's probably got a vibe with him. Oh, that was, that little pop there was the um, fighter going. So that's good. We can shoot this one now. That other anaconda got it. So it's always worth keeping an eye on the fighter because you can't do anything else other than watch. Once the fighter's popped, um, they don't launch a second one. They only ever launch one. So you can see now we're starting to make some serious money. Oh, another one. Here's a fed. That's who they're after. So this is where you've got to be careful not to get too excited. No hurry. See, so he's gone 0%. So let's try the next one. That one. So wait, wait. Wanted. Let's see if we can shoot him. Don't forget to stop shooting when, like that. When somebody crosses. And that. The worst thing, that, that big second one was a T9, a minor. And he's already been beaten up quite a lot by the pirates. And um, quite often they're down to like 2%. And then what happens is they cross in front of you. And then just one pulse from your, your lasers blows them up. And you end up with a murder bounty. Which is, um, it's just one of the hazards of doing this. It doesn't happen very often. But you've got to be mindful. You do have to uh, stop shooting when they, when they cross in front of you. So he's two of two. So I'll just check his mates. Diamond back. So it's somebody's shooting. Which one are they going for? That one. So that's the main man. Where's that diamond back? He's not gonna last long. Where is he? Oh, so he had to stop just is that Python crossed him? Oh is it Anaconda? Right, where is he now? nothing about now so right well I've shown you just about everything there is there we've dealt with fighters uh, we dealt with a kill warrant scanner so we're out of mass lock take the battery off weapons away frame shift drive when you get that inhibited it just means there's a big ship around you so just keep boosting until you get clear put four pips through engines Somebody just turned up. Who was that? That's an inside binder. So I've lived through two fighters. That's a turnaround. You know, normally they get me every time. But that second one was a novice. So I wasn't expecting him to be too bad. Right, so we need to find a station to cash in now. So we just go to the nearest one. Bose landing. I don't know what they got there. T 
So that's two resource extraction sites you can go to. As I said, if we'd gone back to the first one, second time, um, would have been a bit better because it was, um, they would be, the feds would be green. And that, that makes life a lot easier. Now this one, when we go back there after handing in our bounties, they'll be green as well. So what did we get this time? You see now is all these other ones come from other systems. That's what we collected with the kill warrant scanner. So we'll see that when we hand it in, how much extra it got us. So uh, what did we pay for it? 100,000 or something like that. And um, that's going to pay for itself several times over in this first couple of trips. Right, here we are at Bo's Landing. Same old thing. Can't see where the landing pad is, so just keep pointing at it. Thrust down, boost. And now we can get around even quicker with these new engines. There we go. And you can see the landing pad coming into view. So, one other thing I've got to mention is that... Um, the landing pads have this little tower thing with a light on on the far side and can't quite see it there but little ramp let me just put my landing gear down slow me down a bit uh, with a triangle on it can you see it just there I haven't got I haven't got a switch my ship's lights at the moment but that's the side you know that you approach from so I'll take my pips off now to um, make it easy to land. So the light's always away from you and that little triangular thing is the approach, side to approach from. There we go. And don't forget, especially now that you've um, spiced up your ship a little bit, that... Um, uh, it's much easier to land with no pips on the, on your engines. Otherwise, it's going to dance about all over the place when you try and land it on the on the pad. Good hint that. Right, what did we get this time? Was, was well, we got another 1.2 million. We're, how long were we there? Hardly any time at all. Spent most of the time fighting that fighter. So um, we got nothing for that. So uh, 